welcome to lecture 9 high temperature corrosion depends on several factors including refractory properties and steel processing environment in this session i will discuss high temperature corrosion phenomena of refractories in brief cumulative information provides probable refractory corrosion factors that may help protect and prevent refractory failure during operation. Corrosion of refractories reduces their service life and can lead to catastrophic failure resulting in unplanned shutdowns of manufacturing or processing units. Manufacturing and installing new refractories consume energy and natural resources. In addition to economic and working hour losses and safety risks. A cumulative approach to the critical parameters and environments and their influence on infill infiltration, dissolution, morphology alteration, diffusion and oxidation has been pointed out to understand the corrosion mechanism of refractories. The influence of mechanical and thermal stresses of different zones is also highlighted which eventually helps to understand refractory corrosion. Pore is unexpected for high temperature working surfaces and more detrimental when surface are in contact with molten materials. Why is it? The reason is known to all of us. Infiltration, dissolution, a thermal mismatch between infiltration mass and refractories, plastic deformation of solidified molten metal and so on. A typical schematic of refractory slag interaction is shown in the figure where H is molten material penetration height, theta is weighting angle, del P C is the capillary pressure, del P S is the hydrostatic pressure, R is the pore diameter. The weighting theory describes the contact between refractory and molten slag metal following equilibrium by this equation. A theta is in the contact angle and del R refractory metal surface tension. This is steel or slag and this is the interface. The degree of contact of the molten substance with refractory is the initiation point of penetration. We may think about this. The alteration of microstructure that eventually expedites the dissolution, penetration depth and rate of penetration follows the equation. This is the penetration depth and, and this is, is the rate depends on the time. The viscosity gradually decreases. from here to here cold surface, from hot phase to cold phase and the diffusive mass transit rate inside the liquid penetration in the refractory is affected by viscosity associated with the stocks einstein relationship where ionic diffusivity D in the slag is inversely proportional to the viscosity. Liquid and solid react during penetration especially at high temperatures altering the matrix phases and microstructure. Dissolution follows distinct stages at refractory melt interfaces. The three points transport or diffusion of reactants from melt to refractory melt interface chemical reactions or solution at the refractory melt interface 
transport of products from the refractive melt interface at the melt. Dissimilar chemical phases that means if we consider acidic and basic tend to react at high temperatures thus refractory and liquid in contact should be a similar chemical composition to restrict the extent of dissolution. So, because of that if the environment is basic we have to pick up the basic refractory but still basic refractory is the mandatory. Nernst equation can express the rate of corrosion by this equation, where D is the diffusion coefficient, C s is the saturation concentration of refractory in the melt, C m is the concentration of a reactant in the melt, D c by D x is the interfacial concentration gradient, del is the effective boundary layer thickness in the concentration gradient. In equilibrium, the saturation concentration of refractory composition in the melt and melt saturation in the refractory is balanced. During dissolution and reprecipitation, the angular morphology of this also changes to spherical geometry. So, in some Sometimes the grading and angularity of the grains may vary the batch properties. In apparent diffusion is a prominent phenomena during the centering of particles, but this may happen while molten materials penetrate the pores of refractories and solidify. Following high temperature reaction between refractory and foreign substances, this expedites the microstructure alteration of refractories and eventually corrosion. A brief discussion on diffusion mechanism has been emphasized the importance during high temperature corrosion. Solids inherently rigid structure leads to a slower diffusion than liquids and gases. Both liquid and corrosive gases develop as per process variables during steel processing. It is manifested in solid state by the migration of solute atoms through a defective structure of the system. Elevated temperature increases the defect creation rate with the atoms vibratory energy. Vacancies and interstitial atoms are the primary point defects inside a crystal mesh and are caused by the combination of these diffusions in the solid state. Various atomic diffusion mechanisms in crystals through interstitial vacancy, divacancy, interstitial and interstitial substitutional exchange mechanisms are the prime resources of atomic diffusion and that can be represented by a schematic. The randomness of interstitial diffusion is faster than vacancy diffusion which prefers to jump rapidly. So, diffusion is predominant when metal penetrate or molten material penetrate in the refractory and high temperature the interaction between two material refractory materials and infiltrated materials happen and alter the microstructure and corrosion. The importance of oxidation study can be discussed by considering carbon based refractories. where refractory manufacturers use aluminum or sil silicon metal powder to protect carbon. The obvious high stability of oxide is not the only reason, mm, bottom more, more stable alumina and silica compared to your carbon based product, this, this. In situ formation of corresponding carbides of aluminum and silicon are also influence 
the properties at high temperature. Oxidation process expedites pore formation and subsequent molten material penetration eventually CTE mismatch results in the cracking of the practice. Gradual atomic diffusion alters the microstructure and thus corrosion of refractories. Ellingham diagram represents straight lines and the slope change from here to here and corresponding to the phase changes of the metal or the compound indicates a change in entropy. The lower position represents more stabilities of oxides. In addition to air, industrial gaseous atmospheres may contain complicated gases like CO2, H2O, CO, SO2, SO3, etc., multiple gas combinations or gaseous corrosion products or heat breakdown products from corrosion. Vapor species that form in any given high temperature corrosion situation strongly influence the attack rate. I already discussed different reasons for corrosion in previous slides, but another factor stress assisted corrosion has been discussed in this slide. All probable stress and corrosion assistant failures are shown in the cross section of Liddell with respect to different zones. Deterioration of inert structure because of different thermal expansion provides and reactions accompanied by a change in volume. In this phenomenon is influenced by elastic properties and strength of the refractory we already discussed in much more details lecture 5 and 7. Thermal conductivity of the refractory, thermal expansion of the refractory both discussed in lecture 6, temperature and, te and their distribution in lecture 8, geometrical conditions, size, shape, etc. in lecture 4 that mechanical and thermal stress distribution can also be presumed by FEA that has also been discussed in lecture 2. During expansion, cracking mode experiences tensile stresses and facilitates crack in the weakest zone during spalling. I have arranged and highlighted different types of refractory failures in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Failure history says a need to maintain or improve refractory or steel operation. I hope academic industry collaboration has enough scope to develop different classes of refractories and serve more. Recently, Maithan Ceramic Limited has given project to sort out all such problems. And we are in full swing to solve these difficulties for smooth operation and minimum maintenance. Understanding and corrosion behavior analysis of most consumable magnesium carbon refractory has always been interesting. From this perspective, I have discussed the magnesium carbon corrosion mechanism during the processing of aluminum kilt steel. In magnesium carbon refractory, Magnesia is reduced in carbon to Mg vapor and further deoxidized with the reaction of dissolved oxygen in liquid steel forming spinel inclusion. Some dissolved magnesium in aluminum kilt steel is formed by reducing magnesia refractory by dissolved aluminum. Spinel may deposit on the refractory surface or form as inclusion. Mode spinel or MGO in slag indicates a high dissolution rate of MGO. Thus, there is a need to control slag basicity, which can be done by adding lime or dolomite. So, if it is a high magnesia in slag, it indicates the corrosion of your refractory break. The relevant reactions are given here and eventually form the alumina as inclusion during in aluminum kilt steel. Dissolution, infiltration, oxidation and diffusion are common carbon based refractories. Despite refractory dissolution, after repeated cooling and heat reheating, the ladle lining develops cobblestone stoneware 
because of thermal stresses acting on the edges and corners of bricks. A typical lining pattern and cobblestone wear of magnesia carbon is shown here. The recent development of alumina spinal carbon and their static and dynamic corrosion at 1650 degrees centigrade indicates no refractory corrosion with the contact of teeming ladle, slag and steel. It is an unparalleled product for a teeming ladle if we compile all properties. The work has been submitted. I will discuss this in detail while it is published. I appreciate your patience. Thank you.